In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The sands have been washed in the footprints of the stranger on Galilee shore. And the voice that subdued the rough For our goodnight message on this Sunday, the 13th of December 2020, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco, we listen to this inspiring and faith-strengthening message entitled, God is Under the Bed. Advent is about recognizing God in our lives and realizing that when we pray, He's right where we are. We are about to listen to a story about a mentally disturbed young man who can be a source of inspiration when it comes to our prayer life. And this is narrated by his brother. As he says, my brother Kelvin thinks God lives under his bed. At least that's what I heard him say one night. He was praying out loud in his dark bedroom. And I stopped outside his closed door to listen. Are you there, God? He said. Where are you? Oh, I see. Under the bed? I giggled softly and tiptoed off to my own room. Kevin's unique perspectives are often a source of amusement. But that night, something else lingered long after the humor. I realized for the first time the very different world Kelvin lives in. He was born 30 years earlier, mentally disabled as a result of difficulties during labor. Apart from his size, which is six inch, apart from his size, which is six feet and two inches, there are a few ways in which he is an adult. He reasons and communicates with the capabilities of a seven-year-old, and he always will. He will probably always believe that God lies under his bed, that Santa Claus is the one who fills the space under our tree every Christmas, and that airplanes stay up in the sky because angels carry them. One thing that is clear is that he trusts in God. Not confined by intellectual reasoning, when he comes to Christ, he comes as a child. Calvin seems to know God, to really be friends with him in a way that is difficult for an educated person to grasp. God seems like his closest companion. He is under the bed. His brother narrates, in my moments of doubt and frustrations with my Christianity, I envy the security Kelvin has in his simple faith. It is then that I am most willing to admit that he has some divine knowledge that rises above my mortal questions. It is then I realize that perhaps he is not the one with the handicap I am. My obligations, my fears, 
my pride, my circumstances. They all become disabilities when I do not submit them to Christ. Who knows if Kelvin comprehends things I can never learn. After all, he has spent his whole life in that kind of innocence, praying after dark and soaking up the goodness and love of the Lord. And one day, when the mysteries of heaven are opened, and we are all amazed at how close God really is to our hearts, I will realize that God heard the simple prayers of a boy who believed that God lived under his bed. Kelvin may be mentally retarded, but many of us are spiritually retarded. Kelvin is an example of what true faith is. Whenever you pray, pray as if God is indeed under that bed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. That the path of that long Galilean with joy I will follow today and the toils of the road will see nothing when I get to the end of the way and the toils of the road will see nothing when I get to the end of the way There are so many hills to climb upward I often am longing for rest But He who appoints me my pathway Just what is needful and death. I know in his word he hath promised that my strength it shall be at my day. you